Alrighty, guys. Hope you are doing well today. So, obviously, coming with the show while we are waiting for the the market to make the next move, and uh, I got quite a big show for you guys today because I have two big things I want to show you. So, firstly, we're gonna track the little bit of the slowdown at the moment, and the slowdown means actually preparation, right? It means that there's another move coming, and therefore, for as long as we go sideways, you know, there's a move coming, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna track if it's to the upside or we're gonna get a little squeeze because what we are seeing is a lot of shorters starting to get a little bit arrogant, starting to come down therefore giving us these squeeze walls and what will happen is the moment you just break certain levels you might see a very fast acceleration now i think this is important reason being is we took a first smack and a real smack in the crypto market and i feel that this is great opportunities to be using the volatility to make some cash to go buy more bags and to start the not the road to recovery but to start getting back what was taken from us Plus, I want interest. I want a lot more too. So I'm busy building the whole roadmap of not only recovering a couple of losses from last week, but also to get way far ahead. Plus, in this show, I'm going to be showing you the most powerful strategy that's going to help you stop losing money in crypto. I'm telling you guys, I'm going to simplify it for you. And I'm going to make sure that next time we have this dump, we are going to be very far from it. Plus, we are seeing a signal now that we haven't seen for a long time. And I'm talking about since... 18 months ago on altcoins. Now, why I'm saying this is because nothing has been in investment territories for a while. For at least the last year, nothing was in the entry zones of investments. What do I mean by that? I mean by if you bought Solana at $20, right? That was an investment entry. That was something that happened a couple of months ago. What does this debt dip matter to you? What does it matter if you got Phantom at 10 or 20 cents? What does it matter if you got Doge at five, five cents? It doesn't matter, right? But what you got to pay attention to was the indicators and what gave those initial buys then. And the fact that we're having the higher time frame pullback is actually starting to give us a point of triggering these same signals. Everything else was a trade for the last couple of months because the RSIs were already halfway up. They were the highest sort of point where now you're actually getting to a point of investment entries on the market. And I'm going to give you guys a full entry and exit plan so we can prepare for the next massive move. If this excites you guys. I'm going to teach. I'm going to give you guys alpha today and make sure that we are happy and excited for the dubs right now. And we are prepared. And I even saw a comment there from a lady, right? I've sold everything out. I'm going to give you a plan too, because I don't want you to get panicked out here. Let's rebuild you and let's get you back in with understanding what you're going to do the next time. Guys, smash the like button if you're excited. Uh, I'm still stuck in my hotel, but we're starting to get a, a little bit of transport going again. Um, it's run, made us run quite a bit late, but I'm here. You guys are here. No more wasting time. Let's go. Righty, guys, if you're brand new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the energy, hit the like button. I'm here for you guys, and I'll be here for you guys uh, throughout this entire bull market, throughout the entire bear market. I've been through a bear market with you guys, and I'm here, guys. I want you to know you're in the best community out there, and we go through the times where you know crazy dumps happen, crazy pumps happen too. We can't just sit here and say uh, the dump came and things are over now. Like we've we've had insane pumps as well. We've had many good times, uh, and the main goal here is to keep tightening the screws, and we're gonna get it right. There's a small percentage of crypto that's going to be retired in this market i want at least a high percentage of them from you guys so subscribe to the channel if you're brand new uh there's the comments over there we're gonna speak about camera oh we're back we're back we're back we're back um so again i'm making plans here uh with what we're doing so guys smash it smash it smash it and let's get going so i want to remind you gummy airdrop what are we two days out two days out from the airdrop go and attempt whatever you can banter uh, get the banter bubbles download the app farm as many coins get a blowfin account 
because this is a token that's going to launch on Blowfin, right? So if you've got a Blowfin account, you qualify for the airdrop. That is below in the description. It's an incredible exchange. Plus, you get a part of the actual airdrop. If you're in Sniper Club, if you've done Sniper School, you are part of it. Make sure, guys, however, go below. There's forms to fill out to make sure that you get it. If you don't fill these things out, if we don't have your wallets and all of these things, you're not going to get the airdrop. So go below. All the instructions will be there in the description for you guys. And make sure that you have done everything that you need to do to qualify for it i do not want a silly error to make sure that you don't get this because it might be one of the biggest ones out there gummy is a token that we are giving to the community and it may be massive they it's one of the most hyped right i haven't seen a token this hyped for a long time so who knows how big this thing can possibly get um so blowfins below this so guys let's quickly see the chats over here uh yep he's underwater <laughs> You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. The last 10 days, I'm underwater. The last three years, uh, I'm up uh, I'm 10 million percent. <laughs> so you're right, you're right. The last week, yes, I get it. But nonetheless, look where I am now. Look, I'm in Dubai, guys. My whole life's changed. I, I was a carpenter three years ago. I'm not underwater. However, I know there's a lot of people that are underwater, and this is the first rodeo. This is the first time where it comes through. And I even know those that have been through a previous bull market that also got hit hard from this. And we're going to fix that. We're going to make sure we bring that all together and we get that strong. So when retired, end of this bull market, I will retire. Correct. 100%. I'll retire. And so will my mother. So will my grand. So will my cousins. So will my brother. So will the, we will retire. So will Craig. Craig, where are you? Is your camera on there? You're here. You're here. So will Craig. We will retire. Are you joining or not? Like One thing you'll learn about me, guys, I don't quit. I, I'll never quit. You could smack me. I could lose at times. I will never quit. Um. Okay, uh, do we need to submit to use it? Yes, so everything's below, guys, in the description. Okay, let's get going. I want to ask you guys, first thing, I got some short-term possible trades. Uh, I'm in one or two. Uh, reason being is I'm going to fight back nibble for nibble for now until the market makes a higher time frame move, right? We know it's going to come at any moment. Um, you know it will come. So what I'm doing is I'm using the volatility. I'm using these little 10% to just snap back a little bit and i'm actually trying to accumulate as much spot that i can at certain areas so i got some trades for you guys and then i got the massive strategy for you guys too which one do you want first pop in the comments i want to see i want to see the comments fly do you want strategy first do you want analysis first tell me tell me tell me tell me tell me because today the strategy is going to be a very simple one that's going to change your entire game stick to it stick to it use it strong and again it's very 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 simple so let me know i want to see the chats here i want to see us rolling uh, Let's let's trade it back. Of course, let's trade it back, guys. This is one of the. I would say this is not even top ten of biggest dumps we've seen in crypto. <laughs> There's a lot more, so it's gotta come and uh, use it as a lo learning curve. And uh, let's move on. And it doesn't matter. Just don't go to zero. Okay. Uh, let's go and see. Okay, people are saying strategy. Okay, let's jump straight in. So I only got one screen here. And let's get straight into it over here. So I got some short-term analysis, which I'll go through in a second. But let's start from the top. Let's start from the beginning. Okay. So. The big thing here is all the time I explain time frames, right? To be honest, guys, these higher time frames, if you look at what the market has done over the last couple of months, end of the day, we've gone from 20K all the way to 70K, right? We spoke a lot, but look at that. Okay, so if you had to ask yourself the question, when was the best time to invest in Bitcoin? It was probably when fear was at the highest we've seen in crypto for a long time. Remember FTX collapse? Remember all of these things? That was probably the best, right? So one of the biggest signals will always be extreme fear. And even though it's sad what's going on in the world, it's sad the way things turn out, it's always been one of the biggest opportunities to get the buy. The only problem is we've sort of bought all our way in before that, right? So we need to really prepare, you know, for these sort of things. But there was one or two indicators. And the one or two of the indicators was obviously fear and greed. So we'll never take fear and greed. Uh, don't, don't take it on seriously, but we're going to take it a lot more serious. You know, whenever you got fear and greed over 90, like there's always a vent or something that happens. And as much as you try to convince yourself not, uh, fear and greed was sitting on that clock. You know, you had your car basically revving on that 300 for quite a while. Um, and there was many different things that, oh, what if, what happens if we don't stop all of these sort of things? I've changed that mind now. I've changed that now. I've now realized that previous bull markets, when we started this acceleration, it goes very fast, right? And what it's done is it's putting fear inside of us that we're going to miss it. I'm changing that now because the moment institution money and all of these things have come into play, like this may not be the normal bull markets we've seen before. Guys, this could actually be an extended bull market for the next three years, where it's literally six months up, three months down, six months up, and maybe there's no even blow off top. We've got to be prepared for that. It's different money, different game, different thing that's happening now. So we just got to stick to the very simple strategies. So the fear and greed is a big one. But let's go and let's make this nice and 
simple over here. You can see my Oh, sorry guys. I don't know why, but uh, we're using other internet. We're trying our best. So just be a little bit patient if you don't mind, guys. Okay. Craig, you let me know if there's uh, if I'm dropping off at any moment. Same thing with Solana. When is the best time to get in? Was here. Okay. So the first thing I want to show you guys here is whenever you look at any token in the future now, doesn't matter what anyone's saying at the time, all these sort of things, you need to pop on your indicators like this and you need to squeeze it up here. And it's the weekly, right? Weekly, W, W, weekly over here, weekly stochastic RSI. If you have not bought the token or bought anything under this 20% mark, so you see on the percentage on the right here, you got the percentages. If you have not bought the token under the 20% mark, you are trading that token. It's not an investment entry. If you're anywhere above 20 to 100, it is a trade. Now, reason being is you need to get out of it because you are not at a phase where you can hold this thing for a long period because you never bought. Firstly, when there's extreme fear, especially when all these things were happening, you were not buying at the stage. You actually ended up possibly FOMOing a little bit later, which still could have been good buys. But end of the day, you never got the investment entry. So it is a trade. Therefore, if you're buying any of the tokens up higher than these points, by the time this thing gets over 90, you needed to at least take 50 to 80% profits on that token. Done. Okay. Just a nice, simple way of just understanding when you're trading a token versus when you're investing it, okay? Then the next thing that I want to show, and this is very important, is load these ones up for me. Stochastic RSI, I know we spoke about it many times, load that up. The next one here, I got this from Rand last night, and we had a powerful session on Sniper School. Um, and he got this one called the Fear and Greed Index, right? You know, I always show you the Fear and Greed Index that's happening there. Um, but what you actually have is an indicator. So if you go click on here, you actually go type in here, fear and you do a slash it is slash right that that thingy uh and this one here so it's this one here chrism 665 okay fear and greed index what that will do over there is it will basically create uh this nice little thing over here and let's just make it bigger here for you there we go where you got your red at the top and you got your green at the bottom and if you want to change any colors, go click here and go change the colors, okay, of anything that you want. But same thing here. If you are investing in the market on the weekly, you are buying extreme fear. Fear. So if your stochastics at the bottom and your fears at the bottom, you are then buying it as an investment, right? Something that you can hold. Because again, if you bought Solana 20 or 30 bucks, this dump means nothing to you. If you bought anything in the lower range, uh, it means nothing to you. And this was the very simple indicators that will help you guys with a lot of these things. So then you got the fear and greed over here. Now, the next thing is let's jump into the actual charts. And let me show you guys this quickly, because then I'm going to bring the next part of the strategy in. When to buy altcoins, when to get out of them, and to never, and this is the important thing here, guys, to never look at price. This is the crazy thing. Not looking at price, okay? Just using the sentiments of the markets and where we're at. By ignoring price and not looking at price, you're going to allow your ego to not convince you of where it's going to go. Bitcoin will go to 150. It will let you trade the market how it is and get you in perfectly and out perfectly before the mess happens. When's the mess? The top and the bottom's the mess, right? When you're in the phase or in the phase, that's what it is. Uh, best energy tier on the net. Of course, of course, guys, come on. I come from the heart. I came from, uh, from very low a couple of years ago to here. I give a crap about you guys. I care about you and I want to bring you Everything that I have learned. And you know what's crazy? I still learn new things every week. And this reminded me last night of how simple it actually is. And that's why I want to bring it to you guys today. So again, I want to see those likes fly. Where's those likes? If you want this energy, you want to be pumped up, let's go. I want to see those likes. Okay. Let's jump straight back in over here. 380 likes. Oof. Okay, guys, it's been real. Um, we're going to go get a cocktail, bro. <laughs> no, just joking. Guys, smash the like button. Okay. Next thing over here is uh, now I want to show you a few things. Okay, so simple. Let's start off with one indicator at a time. Stochastic RSI weekly, right? Every time this thing was at the bottom. Okay, so I don't know if you noticed the last few weeks, this thing's been hovering at the top. Okay, which means actually it was a trade, right? Anything that you bought 
above 20% on this thing over here was actually a trade and you didn't even know it. Okay, and this was a massive thing to understand. So by knowing that now, now you've got to understand, okay, when was the best time to buy? So if you look at it, just a very simple tool of just stochastic and you draw a line, when it hit the 20% or lower, the stochastic, you would have bought the bottom at 40K on Bitcoin. Okay, just before that, you would have bought the bottom at 25K. And just before that, you would have bought either this area of 25 previously to and this area here of $17,000 by one simple indicator, right? One simple indicator. But remember, we got everyone talking and all of these sort of things. We ignore the very simple facts. But there we go. Simple data over here. Plus, even in the bear, you still would have bought some higher, but you would have bought that dip. You would have bought that dip. You would have bought that dip. You would have bought every weekly dip that happened. And every and if you average that to a total amount, it would have, you would be way up now, right? Way up. But that that's a very simple thing. So I want to remind you again. I want to open up this over here. Whenever Bitcoin is hitting below this twenty percent mark, you're actually entering investment entries. Now this works the same with altcoins. But what's even more incredible than that, we can actually use the main Bitcoin chart to make the decision for the altcoins too which is really incredible to, to do that. It simplifies things instead of going through every single alt, right? You can do it either way, up to you. But now what you're seeing now is we actually haven't had an investment entry on Bitcoin. I've been saying that Bitcoin's expensive for a while, okay? I still think a lot of alts are cheap and things like that, but I've been saying Bitcoin has been expensive for a while, but now there's an opportunity when everyone is terrified, when everyone's saying it's over now or, or they're scared, they're selling at these points over here. When you're actually getting to a point of investment entries is incredible. Then what you have is obviously the opposite of that, because every time we've had this thing uh, pull back uh, into the zone of investment entries, you've then started the rally, right? And again, if you go to the rally side of things, look how at the top phase it would have got you out. These ones would have got you out in this pump up over here. Now, I don't use this to sell so much, not Bitcoin, because you know what I realized in the last uh, two days or so, two days or so, is I am not selling my damn Bitcoin. I'm done. I'm done giving away my Bitcoin. Why? Because Bitcoin is the strongest asset by far in this crypto. And I'm not talking USDT. Why? Because I want the growth of Bitcoin. Okay, USDT doesn't grow. So yes, it may sit stable when the markets come down. I don't care. I want Bitcoin no matter what. It reminded me again, look what held the best when the when shit hits the fan in the world. Look what held the best. Bitcoin held the best, right? So it's made a powerful thing that I don't use this to sell Bitcoin. However, I use it as a great indication for altcoins and these sort of things. So remember what I speak about, and let's quickly drop the camera for a second or drop the screen for a second. Okay, the way it works now is, again, the way I believe it, until you're a multimillionaire, you should not fall in love with any tokens, right? Any sort of tokens. So if you look at it and you look at what is the safest currency in Bitcoin when the markets come down, other than USDT, it's Bitcoin, right? Number one. So actually, this is your main asset that you want to accumulate and the main asset that you always want to make sure that you are in when, when, when things are, when, when trouble's hitting the fan. Then what's the other problem? The other problem is uh, there's so much that grows more than Bitcoin to the upside, right? Altcoins. Altcoins come down harder, go up harder. Very simple. So it's a phenomenal tool to use when it's time to go green. And it's a terrible tool to have or terrible coins to have when the markets decide to start pulling to the downside. Okay. So what that's done for me is that firstly, it's given me a lot more conviction with, with, with Bitcoin, which is, which is really good because I was a big altcoin lover. I've always loved altcoins, but it's reminded me that they're actually nothing. Okay. Yes, they can have good tech and these sort of things, but they don't hold well. And that's just the truth. We've now been through it many different times. So what I do over here is just before I get into the, the, the alt strategy and how you do this is when I was saying that this is coming down to entries, you're also going to have this one here, which is the fear and greed index. Okay, and when this thing is at the bottom in the green and your stochastic is the bottom at the green, that is the ultimate time to take on risk to not only buy investment entries, but also take on risk. Also being able to get into some smaller caps to get into these tokens. The biggest mistake that we make is we end up buying these tokens up here. And I fell for that too, right? Luckily, I still believe there's an entire bull market still coming. And I still think we're okay from these little pushes now and learning the lesson now and things like that. But at the end of the day, I was way too exposed when these sort of things happen. So this fear and greed, when this is the green, a stochastic of the green, take on risk, open up the portfolio, have more altcoins, have all of these things, no problem. The moment we get to the top areas, have nearly no altcoins or very little altcoins being your safest assets and wait. Okay. Now I want to show you the next thing. So I speak about taking on uh, risk, right? So what I've done is I've always split my portfolio into a few things. What I split it into is just a category and you have to categorize it because then you know 
where your token falls under. You need a little bit of structure, guys. If you've got no structure, you, you're going to be a messy player. And I'm one person that hasn't had much structure in my life. And it's made me bump my head so many times on little things. Like, it's just unnecessary things. Uh, as in, you know, having not having a backup if uh, Dubai floods. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's true, though. It's true, end of the day, by not having any structure. So, again, any single thing or any altcoin, anything you buy, just put it in a damn category. And the way that I use it, and I'm not talking narratives, I'm talking a category. I'm talking about high risk, medium risk, low risk. Very simple, okay? So you, that you know your high risk, these are the ones that you use to make money, man. You know, these are the ones that you want when the market's going up. You got your medium risk. This is good tech. This is good companies. This is good fundamentals. These are good things that could be something great in the future. And then you got your safest asset where it's time to take profits. I don't want to get out of the market because I think we got to stop getting out of the market. The reason why Bitcoin is so volatile is people jump and fly in and out of crypto. We got to stop getting out of the market. Super important, okay? So what does that mean? When there is time for possible downside, pullback. I just want to be in the safest assets as it goes. So by categorizing it, I can start working at that. If I'm going very high risk, high risk, and remember, very high risk is memes, all these things. I'm not saying don't trade it, but you know you should actually be looking at memes on these dumps. When these big things are happening, then you should be looking to take on risk. But the problem is we we're all buying it when everything was doing crazy percentages and just wasn't stopping. So it's this whole, whole mindset of just getting it completely wrong, right? So by having the categories, you can actually mark this out on your chart. And this is really great. So let's bring up the chart over here. There we go. So what I've done for you guys, and I explained this in school last night, and I wanted to bring it to the show today, is you actually could take a few lines here. And you can put uh, um, a little bit of alarms on this too. You see this little stochastic RSI? You see I've got colors here. Now, colors will represent whatever part of my portfolio I'm talking about. And the way I'll do it is, let's say my first one will be at 80%. Reason being is, anything that's above 80 to 100 is actually con considered overbought. It means that it's had a bit of buying power and it might get exhausted soon. And you might have a little bit of a retracement or the opposite team, the red team, come and fight back. Okay. And it's the same when it's at the bottom. It's oversold, right? This is where there's been selling pressure. And you can see it right now. We're only halfway, okay, of where it is um, over here. So it gets you in the right phase of what you're basically doing. So the first one I'll set is you click on here, you go to coordinates, and you set it on 80 and you put a color. The next one, you're setting at 85 and you put a color. Okay, the next one after that is you are putting at 90. Over there, boom, I have my three colors. So the way it works now is when this RSI gets back, and this is why I don't want you to get terrified if you haven't sold yet or anything like that. Me personally, selling now is a massive mistake, but you'll have a selling opportunity again in a couple of months, okay, when this repeats itself again. But the way it works now is if you're looking to buy, some people have dry powder, some people have these sort of things, is by the time this gets down, it's an investment entry. You probably only get two an entire year, okay, when this happens. You look at the last one, 2023, uh, and now we're looking at the, the beginning of Jan. Okay, this is the time where you can open it up. You can go to 20, 30 altcoins in your portfolio when we're in here. You dollar cost and you wait, okay? You wait for the market to start to rise. Then the market starts to rise. So what you do is, by the time it gets to 80% over here, you're not even looking at price. You see, I don't have a price here. I don't know what, what price Bitcoin's at. I don't know what it is. All that I know is the market's starting to get a little bit heated. So what it means is by the time we cross this 80% mark and we close there, both lines are above it, I need to get out of my very high risk. Does not matter the price. Does not matter these things. Does not matter if it's the top of that coin or maybe it goes more after. Who gives a crap? Okay, because I'm tired of losing money. I can make a lot of money in this market. I'm tired of losing it. And that's why I'm no, no longer going to be picky with what it is. So when we get to this point of 80% over here, you're out of your high risk. Then by the time it gets to the blue line and it gets over 85%, you start getting rid of your mid caps. Okay? Ones that have good fundamentals. But at the end of the day, until you're a multi, multi-dollar millionaire is when you should be invested in holding these things for a lifetime and things like that. Or what you can do is you can go to the monthly stock and you could decide to do it there. For me, I'm focused on making money. Very simple, okay? Before I fall in love, all these sort of things. Then what you have is the big 90% mark. And I've went back so much in history with these things, and I've double-checked this thing so many times. That's always when the market is really heated, okay? Really heated to the point. And what that means is by the time you back at 90% on the stochastic RSI, you need to be in your safest assets, okay? And this means whatever you want to accumulate for the market. So for me, 
Bitcoin and some USDT, not even in Ethereum anymore. I loved Ethereum. I've been at, yep, but it's, it's not performing. It's not holding when the markets are dropping. I don't want to be in that the next time the market drops. Very simple. Doesn't mean I won't trade it. Doesn't mean I won't use it to the upside. Of course I will. But end of the day, when it comes down, it's not holding strong anymore. ETH is starting to go down slowly. It's starting to lose its ultimate strength. How do I determine what strength of a coin? How well does it happen? How well does it hold when the markets come down? Very simple. And if you look at the percentages, ETH looking like a, a mid cap at the moment. It's not even looking like a high cap or a, a, a Bitcoin anymore. It's not there anymore. And that's okay. We've got to move on with the past and we've got to get going with the new, right? So by the time there's 90%, I'm fully in the Bitcoin thing. Imagine you did that two weeks ago. <laughs> Guess what? Guess what would have happened? You'd be sitting in Bitcoin now. Yes, you'd be 20% down in your portfolio. But what you, what you also don't understand is when the market comes down, Bitcoin comes down the least and altcoins come down a lot more. So let me drop this for a second. So what it actually ends up doing is when those altcoins come down or when you have Bitcoin come down, Bitcoin comes down 20, 30%, altcoins come down 50, 60%. Okay. And what you do is you wait. You wait for two things. You wait for the RSI to get down and you wait for that fear to get down. Then what you do is you take a Bitcoin and you go redeploy into all these alts. Now, the benefit of that, firstly, you're getting into the perfect times and the investment entries in these coins and you're getting in at the right time where there's fear, where no one wants to get into it. But secondly, you're getting way more altcoins, which doesn't, guys, it's incredible. Think about it. If you had a thousand Solana and you switched it last week into Bitcoin, you know, you'd be buying back a thousand three hundred Solana now. You know, you'll be making 25% more Solana than what you had last time just by going into Bitcoin and coming back into the Solana. You actually accumulate without buying it, without putting any more money in, without doing any of these things, you would have accumulated more of it. So not only are you in the safer asset, but when it comes to the downside, you're actually accumulating so many more of these alts. And over two, three years, you'll end up 10xing the amount of coins that you have throughout these things. And you're doing it at the right specific time. So you get out and look how beautiful Patience makes millionaires. Yeah, and simplicity does too. So by getting out there, you don't care the prices. You're going to save it. But this comes down. And the moment we're back in this green box over here is the moment you deploy. And the same thing here, there's actually three indicators I want you to focus on. The one I want to build for you guys. I want to see if I can get it done. Okay? But the, the fear and greed, you could see, it's basically saying in two weeks from now, if Bitcoin pulls back more or even stays here, you're getting to a point to invest in the markets, right? Investment entries. And I'm pretty sure a lot of us can see great opportunities out there that could, could be investment. Some we could hold for a long period, maybe even the entire bull market, right? We just don't know how long it's going to be now. Um, but at the end of the day, these two are major indicators. And the next one I'm building, you guys, is just the RSI gauge of views on my channel. Literally. So when you see Sheldon's views go up 40% and you see that RSI get to the top, it's the same thing. This stock will be, because you know what's crazy? When I was at my highest views, this current cycle was there, right? It was there. It was when this thing was at the top, the fear and greed, and the stochastic was at the top. Every indie was at the top, and so was my views, so was everything, right? That was the biggest sell thing as well. So we're simplifying the whole thing. So the big thing you got to do now is if you lost or you, you missed the sale, you can't sell now. Why? Because you're going against the whole rule system. The rule system is selling on the way up. Selling on the way up and when you're cracking into these ends. Now you've missed it. You're still in your portfolio. So what does that mean? It means by the time this gets down to the green box, you have two things here. Add what you can. If you got money, if you got extra thing, try add what you can. Second thing is rebalance your entire portfolio and make sure you have split it up into low risk, medium risk, high risk, and have structure. The next time it goes up, follow this damn system and I'll see you in a year with your Lamborghini. Simple. I'm telling you guys it's powerful because every time, how many times have I come back to this thing? So many times, and it's, it's annoying, it's such a very powerful basic system over here with a few basic tools over here. So it means you've missed the sale, guys. You've missed the sell now. It doesn't mean the market won't come down another 20%, but you've missed the ultimate sell of when you should be selling and sentiment in the market. I don't know if you noticed, but the fear and greed is nearly at the bottom. I don't know if you noticed, but the market is extended. By selling now, you're becoming weak hands, spinach hands, and getting completely smashed out. Now, there's a lady there that said, I'm out. Okay, cool. Wait for this green box then and get back in. <laughs> very simple build your portfolio get back into the next time up set this and you know what's crazy with these lines here go click this and add alerts and put alerts on all these lines all these lines of it put them so that it sends you an email and what this is going to do is this going to make a very powerful system guys this for me is on weekly and monthly stocks this is the higher time this is what's going to run majority of your capital everything else trend lines fibonacci's all of these sort of things is powerful for trading 
when you want to trade, when you want to make money, when you want to do these things, that's when those things are all amazing. For now, it is not harder than this. And I just want to show you guys, let me, let me show you quickly. Let me show you here quickly uh, before we jump uh, into, into some of the short time from analysis. So just the stock and the fear and greed. Okay, there, there, there. Let, let, let's go through a couple here quickly. Look at Doge. <laughs> Look where you would have bought Doge. Very simple. Let me actually just, uh, how do I move this? Oh, shit. Okay, I got rid of it. Yeah, but nothing. Look here. Stochastic RSI, right? That's where you would have bought six cents, six cents, six cents, eight cents. <laughs> now we're sitting here. This is still coming down, right? This is still like, it's only saying maybe the next week or two we'll get investment entry. But look how powerful that is. Go look at it the entire history, even in a bear market, right? Of when you're accumulating these things. Let's go to the next one. Let's go Solana. Look at where you bought Solana, right? You would have bought it at uh, $22. You would have bought it again at $20. You would have bought some more at $90. And now, by the end of next week, Solana is getting to an investment point again of actually dumping your toes into the higher time frame views. Let's go look at things like Phantom. Look at this. Boom, 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 boom. Now, what's amazing about this, guys, is you're going to use the strength of these coins because look how great they do when they go up. If you look at just the simple thing of even just the normal power of the stochastic, look at this low over here to that low. Just drag it to the top. That's 231%. 231%. If you just sold the top over there in the bottom, these things are powerful. They actually work. But what's even better about that is you're not going back into USDT. You're going back into Bitcoin. And by doing that, you're going to accumulate Bitcoin on the way up and you're going to accumulate tokens on the way down. And I don't think we understand. Um, uh, what's a, there's a great course. I can remember it's called Cyber School, <laughs> the stock. Um, I don't think people understand the power of that. When you are in the upside and you're in altcoins, you're making so much more Bitcoin, guys. You're making so much of these things. When the market's down, you're making so much more altcoins. And you start to understand that we always used to going to a stable coin, USDT. Now you have the power of going into two volatile tokens from one to the other and all these sort of things. Guys, hit the like pop. Yes, if you're excited about this, this is going to take away all the problems. Stick to it. And that's it. The only thing is, don't hurt, don't be upset with yourself if you get out of Bitcoin at 100K and it goes to 120. Who cares? Because three, four months later, it'll be back at 60, it'll be back at 50, and you'll be buying it back. The, the, don't worry about that crap, right? And, I, and I'm talking about alts and all of these sort of things as well. Keep it simple, make it strong. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's uh, jump straight back in. Uh, it's crazy, these charts. Eh? If you look at even ETH getting to investments. Okay, so again, I just want to recap before I jump into the short analysis here. If you're buying any coin, and I want to bring this up. Why is this not showing me here? Hold on. If you're buying any coin on the weekly stochastic RSI that's above 20, it is a trade. It is not an investment entry, which means you are selling. If you buy anywhere, do this from now on. It's your biggest rule ever. It's going to save you so much because it's okay. Sometimes if you bought the coin a little bit later, uh, just the fact that you know that it's a trade and you must take profit on it is going to help you so much. And again, these lines over here is going to be the one that's going to, that's going to help you get out of them. Okay, fantastic. Let's jump into some short-term analysis. So... What do you mean? No, it will work on every altcoin. It's not going to get you the exact top. It's not going to get you the bottom. It's going to get you in the right phase where you're going to make money. You're going to make Bitcoin on the way up. You're going to make it down. And if you even want, go to the, the total, the total three, and do the same strategy on total three if you want then. When total three gets above this, 75, 85, do these sort of, that's altcoins, right? That's fully an altcoin. Do this exact same strategy. Again, I'll show you here quickly. So here, look at this. This is what's actually, thank you for bringing this up. Do you know the last time we actually had investment entries on altcoins was May 2023. That was the last time. Do you know anything else above this were trades? It wasn't even investment entry. Why? Because we haven't gone below 20% in the last year. Okay. Now we're finally losing this low. And in the next week, you can finally have an investment entry again. Finally. But this, none of this, these were actually trades. They were never investment entry. And we kind of knew that, guys. We knew that the market's gone up a lot and alts have gone up a lot. It was kind of kind of obvious when it came to those sort of things, right? But now you get into a point. So the person that sold this morning, just be ready. When this is here, get back in and restart the whole entire system. But that's the crazy thing. This would have got you in here. The perfect stage of the market. Incredible. Okay, guys, let's quickly go through a bit of short-term analysis. So again, I'm in a little trade over here. 
which is called Phantom. Um, reason being is I like the little 10% moves at the moment and I'm making my money back. I lost about 100K, 140K last week on, on, uh, on some leverage and some margin positions. They got stopped. Well, so some of them went through stops. So I got one or two leverage uh, hits, um, liquidation hits and these sort of things. So I'm fighting back and I'm just trading the short term moves. So you can see I'm already 7K up here. No, I don't start off with super high leverage. I, I build it up over time. Um, uh, you'll learn my strategies in school and stuff the way I do it. I start off very low and I build it up as we go up. Um, but nonetheless, I'm using this to make some cash back, right? Because firstly, I see some bargains. And secondly, I now know that investment entries are coming available. So I'm a little bit strapped for, for cash and to keep getting cash in to get in. Um, because again, I missed the sale, right? I should have actually floated many of them. And I would have been very happy today. But it's cool. We move on. So if we look at the shorter time frame views over here, Bitcoin is sitting. Let's just get my right chart here. There we go. So there is a short-term squeeze that can happen, guys. So keep an eye here. So if you go pop in these trends over here, remember, now we're going back to trading, guys, back to trade trading uh, analysis and uh, to make cash. So here is the concurrent wedge. You've got the two lows and you've got the, the basic highs. You've got this high over here, 12th of April. You've got this one here, 15th of April. And the recent top we made this morning or the last couple of hours. And that's how I know it's a valid trend because we stopped. The moment we started pushing up this morning, we stopped over there. So what I want to see now is I obviously want to see a little higher low um, in play, but either break of these lines is going to give us a little bit of a squeeze. So what's happening is you could see that price, when we had that little bounce, we obviously rejected there, where that was a previous support is now resistance. And then we lost it. And now this piece that's over here that was support is now resistance, which means there's squeezes. There's, there, there, there's acceleration points on, the, on the, the charts that we are seeing. So the first accelerating point is the moment we get through this little high over here, we'll accelerate quickly to 66 to 67. If we get through there, 68, 69. And I'm not thinking much higher than that um, at the moment. I'm looking at that little moves over there. So my goal here is to actually buy a little bit on these higher lows here for some trades. Only trades. Remember, it's not investment time. It's not these things. I've just gone through that. So little trades. And what I'm doing is actually the small 618. If I take this over here and I pop this up, let's just get my 618 in here. Dun, 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 dun. 618. Smash it over there. There's 618. So it's basically indicating Bitcoin must basically hold around 60, 63K to put in a decent low. And by the time we break that, I obviously want to be in on the way up and I want to be in by the squeeze and I want to be out by the time we hit these blocks up here. Okay, so that's my current plan. If we start losing the bottom, that's why my stop loss will go uh, under the 786. So remember what you do is you take the previous wave and I'm using the one hour chart here and you put in your fibs. So from bottom to top, and what it'll do is it'll give you the important levels. So, so this is the, the zone we must bounce and your stop loss can go under here. If you don't want to put it under the low, if it's too much risk for you there, put it under this low over here. It should get you out if the market's going to gonna gonna break down pretty strongly uh, to the downside. But right now, I feel that we should have a little bit of a push up. Uh, we have had a lot of damage, so it would make sense to push up. And if the market's really bearish, it will get rejected very hard in these areas over here. So now that we know that, um, let's pop in here and quickly look at dominance. Dominance also trailing up. So there is maybe a scenario for the, the short time frame that if Bitcoin bounces, we maybe even drop this a little bit and have a little bit of an altcoin catch up because altcoins got brutally hit when this went up. So I'm keeping an eye on that as well. And then if you look at total three, which again is there's the trend line over there. So there's resistance here. And if we get through here, there's a squeeze to the upside. So what I'm looking for is now we go to the phantom chart. So I'm buying on these supports and I've been buying on it here. And the goal here is to get in by the time we crack this resistance. By the time we crack this resistance, I see us flying here, which is 7, 76 uh, cents, which is 20% from where we are now. Guys, it's a road to recovery because I will take my profits over there. Boom. Even if it goes through, I'll catch it later. It doesn't matter. I'm 20% back, baby. <laughs> you know, 20% back on that trade. And I'll show you guys this over here. This is the trade I, I did have yesterday for you guys. But I'll show you here as well. If I click on, just go here, boom. Uh, there we go. I'll make 33, 33K. Okay. So remember, I'm 100, 140K down. Okay, cool. That's a start. <laughs> That's a start if that happens. And now my stop loss at entry already. So I, I'm already no risk on this trade. I could just build it again if we, if we, we do decide to get stopped or marks starts to come down. Um, but I'm on the road to recovery. And I can tell you this, guys. If I keep focused on these things in five to 10 days, I can be back above what I lost. And I think that's the power. And you know what would be crazy? The market probably won't even be that much up by the time that happens. So I'm in some phantom short-term trades here. Stops will go under these areas over here. Uh, remember, until we are above trends, we are not safe. So just have that in the back of your head. Until we have broken this trend, we are still bearish. Okay, we are still bearish and we're trying to attempt the little pullbacks. But here's things like Sol. 
So if Seoul pops down here and cracks this trend, I'm seeing a little squeeze to 155. And that from anyway around 135, that's a nice 20%. So really, really good trade, good odds. There is the Doge one there as well. Uh, if we start popping through. So right now, the only thing that's available to do right now is to possibly maybe fix a little bit of your investment entries on your portfolio, but it's to actually use trades. That's it. Other than that, there's no investment. There's, it's not the right time to sell your, your investment tokens. It's not the right time to buy more investment tokens. The only thing is to trade. <laughs> That's what you have available now. Guys, smash the like. Remember, blow from below. Um, we also have a coin called Chappies. Go have a look at them as well. The description uh, is below. Uh, well, information is below in the description. Uh, I will bring that up. We must bring that up tomorrow. I need to show that with you guys. Um, and uh, that's it. Gummy, gummy, gummy. Go get your gummy. Get your gummy, guys. Have a fantastic day. If you've enjoyed the show, obliterate that like button and let me know in the comments. You're not going to quit. That's it. Let's learn from mistakes. Let's do this. I love you guys. I'll see you all tomorrow. Much love. Do I push this button now? I'll push it. I'll push it. I don't know where Jay is. Bye.